Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we start, I assume that you guys already watched my suspension tuning tutorial video, or at least understand the basics of suspension tuning, so you can understand this easier. Back then, if I use sway bar on my car, it's usually on the rear, and that's enough, but not anymore. Well, hence the name, sway bars are used to minimize sway or body rolls on your cars. Now I'm gonna show you how this car runs without sway bar. As you can see, without sway bar, this car is swaying left and right as I turn, very unstable. In this picture, you can see how the car looks like when it's turning without sway bar. Without sway bar, the spring works independently to each other. For example, if you put 60 kNm on your spring stiffness, that means 60 for each spring left and right. A compression on one side of the suspension will not affect the other side. In this picture, the left spring is compressed, but the right spring is unaffected by that. If anything, it gets stretched because the body of the car is kind of pulling it. We don't want that in our car. We need our car to be stable because the only good thing about unstable cars is that you get to make a quicker transition and that's all, nothing else. We want our car to be like this when turning. As you can see in this picture, the body of the car is almost perfectly parallel to the ground, and we can achieve this by using sway bar. I'm not gonna explain how sway bar works in detail, but basically, sway bar connects both sides of the suspension, so if one side got compressed, the sway bar will transfer that load to the other side, so both suspension will get compressed and the body of the car will be more parallel to the ground, resulting in more stability. Also, because the sway bar connects both sides of the suspension, it kind of makes both suspension stiffer, which leads us to another question. Why not just use stiffer springs instead of sway bar? Well, unlike sway bar, spring stiffness affects your ride height. Stiffer springs will increase your ride height, which will negatively affect your stability. And also, like I said, without sway bar, the suspension will work independently to each other, which is good and bad depending on the situation, so basically, they don't have the same effect. Now we're gonna use sway bars on this car. As you can see, now the body roll is reduced. Like I said, more stability. Alright then, I assume that we're clear about the importance of sway bar and how it works. Now, for the tips on how to utilize the sway bar. First, the most important one, the rear sway bar. Using rear sway bar means you get stiffer rear suspension which will reduce your rear grip so your car will be more oversteery and with that, the rear end of your car will be able to move quicker. So, stiffer rear sway bar equals to more oversteer and quicker movement of the rear end of your car. And in most cases, you can get away with only rear sway bar without front sway bar. Now, the front sway bar. Using front sway bar means you get stiffer front suspension which will reduce your front grip so your car will be more understeery which will allow the front end of your car to move quicker. Now, an understeery drift car is bad. You don't want that. So only use the front sway bar when it's necessary. For example, some cars have lazy front which turn really slowly and not very responsive to steering control, or like hesitant when you're trying to turn or jumpy or unstable. And if that's the case, you can add a little front sway bar to counter it. 
but be careful not to use it to steer, because like I said, understeer is bad. If your front sway bar is too stiff, it will naturally cancel out your oversteer and will make your car straighten up too easily when you do a drift transition, which is bad. Now, how stiff your sway bars are entirely up to you. Feel free to experiment with your build, or maybe try using somebody else's build and tweak it up to your liking. Just remember that there is a limit on how quick your front and rear end can move, so there's absolutely no need to overdo it. Alright, that's it for this video. Like this video if you find this helpful. If you have any question, ask away in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe because... Please? <laughs> right then, bye!